Dolphin Research Center, we have this really great behavior we call Innovate. What it is is we give the dolphins the Innovate signal and they have to create a series of new behaviors. The only rule is once they've done one behavior, they can't repeat that one in the sequence. So the sky's the limit, whatever they want to come up with. So the way we train the Innovate behavior is first we show the dolphin the new signal. Usually when our dolphins see a signal they haven't seen before, what they do is just offer up something new, um, kind of trying to figure out what we're asking. So I'm going to show Marina the signal. When she offers behavior, I'm going to bridge and reinforce. Very nice. Now I'm going to show her the same signal again. If she does the behavior she previously did, I'm just going to ignore it, maybe encourage her to offer something else by giving her a signal, maybe asking for a wave or a vocalization. Um, however, if she does a completely novel behavior, I'm going to bridge and reinforce again. Ready, Marina? Each time I'm bridging and reinforcing, I'm giving the same um, type of reward. We don't want our dolphins to think if they get perhaps five capelin for one behavior that, that that one stands out a little more in their mind. We want them to know they can bring any behavior to the table for this behavior. All right, Marina, you ready? Nice job. Now see what she did there? She started with the, with the foghorn sound, which she had already done, so I didn't bridge and reinforce that one. But what she did is she added on to it. She did the little flipper wave, moved on her back, and kind of did a little dance. That in itself is a completely novel behavior, so I did choose to bridge and reinforce that one. So one thing you have to be careful about when training this behavior is that you don't inadvertently um, bridge and reinforce chaining. Some of our dolphins have created a series of chains, and to them, that's what the innovate behavior means. It means do a wave, then do a spin, then do a tail smack. And so what we try not to do to prevent that from happening is encourage them to do things, you know, completely out of the box in a completely different order. If we do see a chain starting to evolve, we make sure that we don't bridge and reinforce that chain. Um, what we'll do is, again, give them hints, offer us other behaviors to make sure that they are truly being creative and coming up up with something novel. There are a number of things about the Innovate behavior that we love. Number one, it allows our dolphins to be creative. It gives them a chance to show us what their ideas are. This is obviously really enriching for them too, and each dolphin has different things they come up with. One of the benefits we didn't expect in the beginning is we've been able to capture a lot of the behaviors that they've come up with on their own and add it to their list of many behaviors they already have. So it's been a lot of fun to kind of put their ideas on signal and share them with everybody. Dolphins get to show themselves in it. They get to showcase who they are. They're their ideas, their creativity. Very enriching because they get to come up with all the ideas themselves. 
And then we've actually found that we can capture some of the behaviors and put them on a separate signal so that we can showcase them to our audience when they come through and actually say, hey, he made this up himself. And the, the crowd gets a big kick out of that and lets them know a little bit more about that dolphin's personality. And that's what we're all about. We want them to know who our dolphins are.